um wow where do i even start so much things have been happening lately and i apologize about this bright ass light but like i'm trying to figure this out i'm not in my usual video recording space so bear with me i'm half asleep right now because as you guys are gonna see from the previous video that my girl gave birth again this is her second litter and I stayed up all night to make sure she didn't need my assistance because with the first litter she needed a little help so I had to make sure that she didn't need me this time anyways oh I'm sorry jeez I'm so fucking tired I wanted to go to the beach today too I guess that ain't happening anyways so a lot has been happening my dog gave birth five beautiful different shades of little puppies or so I can't wait till they get older um, I recently got a new doctor her name is Dr. Hoffman and I'm really grateful because my other doctor um, pretty much dropped me because I'm healthy as fuck and I wasn't going to the doctor as much as I should as much as she thought I should so, um, what she failed to understand is that Melina has a life Melina has a child and I just had puppies as you can see in the previous video with that being said, I have a lot. I have a life. I have things on my plate, and going to the doctor for unnecessary visits, you know, is stupid to me when I have better things to do with my time, like caring after my responsibilities. So, anyways, I got a new doctor, and she switched my medication to something called Odesfi. Not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's spelled O D E F S E Y. Um, it's basically the same thing as my Complera, but there's a particular ingredient called tenavir, which is a lot. Uh, they modified that particular part of the medicine so it's less toxic, according to my doctor and according to the research I've done on it. And it's significantly smaller, like half the size. So I'm not taking this big-ass prenatal-looking vitamin thing anymore. I'm taking something that's a lot smaller. So that's awesome. Um, what else was there? Um, I met someone, and <laughs> I know he's probably watching this. Because he watches my videos sometimes. And I know he's probably going to be shaking his head when I'm done saying what I have to say. But I'm a little skeptical still. I mean, there's a part of me that wants to be scared. Because I've dealt with assholes in the past. It's not easy, you know, dating and trying to explain something to, to people that seems so simple yet they can't grasp it. I mean, to me it's simple, you know. HIV wasn't what it was back in the day. I'm taking care of myself. There are facts and statistics proving that someone like me can live a normal, healthy life and have healthy sexual relationships without infecting my partner or any future children I have. But as much as information is readily available, a lot of people don't want to accept facts. So it makes it a little difficult to date people. People always say, oh, well, they're HIV positive people, so why don't you date HIV positive men? Here's the thing about that. Most HIV positive men are gay. So what am I supposed to do? Try to convert them? No. Um, so that is why, I mean, I guess that's part of the reason why I always meet people who are negative because it's very rare for me to meet someone who is positive and likes women, you know what I mean? So... Um, dating has its challenges, but I'm hoping that this particular person, you know, understands that I'm still a person at the end of the day and that I hurt too. I hope that he has a conscience and understands that, you know, karma's a bitch because I've seen it with my own eyes. And I'm not saying I want to wish anything ill on him if he did something to me, but I'm just speaking facts. I've seen people fuck me over and seen horrible things happen to them. Karma. I'm not a religious person. I'm atheist actually, but karma is my religion. And I'm just hoping that, I'm really hoping I'm not wasting my time and I hope that, you know, at least, that I hope things work out. That's all I'm saying. Um, yes, yeah, so I look like a hot mess right now because I'm running on a couple of hours of sleep. Thanks to this one over here. Hey girl. That's my girl. Hey, look at the camera, boo-boo. Yeah, so I can't wait till they get older. 
I'm actually pet sitting one of her other kids from a previous litter. I gave him to my sister about a month ago, but she's on vacation and she better bring me back a fucking souvenir from Jamaica. But anywho, I'm taking care of uh, Chico. So right now we have, uh, let's see, we have a house full. We have Stella, five puppies. That's already six. Plus the three dogs out there. So right now there's nine dogs in my apartment. Two adults and brand new puppies and six month old puppies. Oh my God, why did I agree to this? But I love Chico, so I couldn't tell my sister no. And his mommy missed him anyway. So anyways, um, don't hold my hot mess face against me. I'm tired, so take care and be happy.